Let's learn Scratch. Scratch is a high-level, block-based visual programming language made for children to practice programming. You can create your own interactive stories, games and also animations with the help of Scratch. If you have not installed Scratch software in your computer, you can reach Scratch through the online. Below is the URL to access Scratch online. I have put this URL in the description box below. You can copy it and paste it in your web browser. When we copy that URL to the web browser, this is the view we are getting. If you want to create a new program, press this create tab. It will open the scratch window. This is the video given by the software itself for beginners on scratch programming. You can hear this video by pressing this icon. For the moment, I am going to close this and introduce you on the different tabs of this window. This area is called the stage. The stage is the place where our outcome of the program will be displayed. This is called sprite. You can add many more sprites to this list. There are two ways to add an sprite to this list. First one is we can choose a sprite from the software images. For that you have to click on this and press on this search icon. It will open this window of list of sprites. Now you can select one of the sprites that you like and you can have it in on the list. The second method is you can have your own image to this sprite list. For that you have to go on this and rather than click on the search icon you have to go to this icon which is called upload sprite. When you click on that upload sprite icon it will open up the image folder of your computer so that you can click on any selected image of you and open. So that it will get you to the stage and also to the sprite list. These are called block tabs. Motion, look, sound, events, control, sensing, operations, variables, my blocks. And these are called blocks. We will learn on these in detail when we do a program. This is called the script area where we use these blocks to write the script to our program. This is the backdrops where we can give a background image to our stage. Now let's do our first sketch program. For that I am using only these two sprites so that I am deleting this. Now let's give a movement to this sprite. For that you have to click on this sprite from the sprite list and then go to the motion tab and drag this block to the script area. It says move 10 steps. The number 10 here is the length of the steps. If it is a very low value, the length of the step will be very short. If it is a high value, the length of the step will be very higher. In order to execute this step, we have to give an event. For that, we have to go to this event tab and drag one of these suitable event for our program. For our first program, I am going to drag this event. It says, when this flag is clicked, the sprite need to be more 10 steps. So, this is the flag icon. As per the program, when this flag is clicked, the sprite need to be moved. The length of the step will be 10. That is the outcome of the program. If you want this sprite to be moved few steps rather than just one steps, 
we have to give a control for that you have to go to this control tab and drag one of the loops here for that for our first program i am going to drag this loop to the script area and you have to move this block more ten steps inside that loop the number here is the number of steps that will be required to be moved so i change this to 5 so this sprite need to move 5 steps the movement is very fast because the computer is very fast so for that in order to slow down we have to get this block wait one second inside the loop of repeat so let's run the program now three four five only five steps because the number of repetitions that we have given is 5. If we reduce this repetitions to 3, the number of steps that this script will be moved will be only 3. Let's count it. Click 2, 3. If we want to change the costumes of this sprite, when he taken steps, we have to go there and See what are the costumes available. As per the costumes, there are two costumes available for this script. So, we can go to the looks tab and drag this block called next costume into the loop. So, it says move 10 steps, wait one second, change costume and Repeat this for three times. Let's see what happens when we click this flag. Now let's give a sound to this sprite. For that, you go to the sound tab and drag one of these suitable block to the program. I am getting this sound and I am going to place it at the first of the program so it says the order is start the sound and repeat this loop for three times let's run the code now if we want the sound to be played at the end of the program we can place this sound block at the end of the block so that the sound will be displayed or played at the end of the program now let's give a background image to this display area for that we go to this backdrops and choose the backdrop we can choose whatever a suitable backdrop to our program. I am going to select this one. So this is our background image now. Now let's give a program to this sprite too. For that we have to select on this sprite and write our program here. Let's give a dialogue for this sprite. For that, you go to looks tab and let's drag this block here. And we are going to give an event also for this sprite. And we have to replace the sentence that this sprite is going to tell by editing the words here. So this will be the dialogue that is sprite, this sprite will be played when we click this flag icon. Now let's run our 
program. If you want, you can expand this stage by pressing this icon. So, this is our first sketch programming. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. I will reply to those. Thank you.